Joey Banks. Hey. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry, just uh, uh, finishing up some some business. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, oh, well, <laughs> I have a bed in my office. You are forward thinking, Julian. This is why I am the luckiest actress in Los Angeles. You you would sleep and work at the same time if you could. This is I'm so lucky to have you. I, I would, in fact, if I could take substances to keep me awake forty eight hours, I, I I definitely would would do that. Oh, you know Jennifer might be able to help you with that. Just a, a shame, obviously. I'm not representing her, really, isn't it? Well, would you be interested in representing her? Oh, absolutely not. Will you get an appointment for me? An appointment? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I've had a few a few things potentially come in for you. Uh, are you what? excited? Yeah, like, are they offers? Or are they just, they're just giving me the part, right? Well, they're offers in every way except that they're not giving you the part. Oh. Uh, but they're offers in the sense that they want to offer you the opportunity to get the part. Which oh, are, oh, that's is great. It. So uh, you've heard of, of ABC. From what I've been told, it's, uh, it's a television network. Uh, and that they have, yeah, a real one. So they have this, uh, this diversity showcase. And of course, I thought of you because uh, I know you're very diverse. Asians are very hot at the moment. And I just wondered, do you have any Asian in you? Uh, probably just make it up. I can lie about it. I mean, no one, no one tells the truth in Hollywood. So we lie about my age anyway, right? So why can't we lie about my ethnicity? You're lying about your age? I, I thought you were 16. I was sort of banking on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I'm 16 and a half. Well, that's all right then, as long as we're in the ballpark. Now, you're funny, aren't you? Oh, I'm hysterical. We've had uh, uh, Michael Lawn on the phone. No, hang on. Sorry, Lawn Michaels oh. on the phone. You heard yeah, of him? I don't know who that is. Um, he has a little uh, show he does on, on Saturday nights. It's live, apparently. I don't know if it's, it's like going to catch show. Didn't it come out, like, last year or something? It's re. I think it's fairly recent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. And they, apparently, they draw lots of sketches on this show. He, he loves his ethnically ambiguous women. But I thought of you because uh, you, you know, you have a certain degree of ambiguity about many things in your life, don't you? And um, particularly your ethnicity. I'm very <laughs> ambiguous about your ethnicity. In fact, I still don't particularly know what ethnicity you are. Well, I'm, I'm Greek. You're what now? I'm Greek. And where's that from? Um, it's from Greece. Isn't that a bit messy? Oh, no, 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 no. It's next to Italy. It's in Europe. Well, it's all Greek to me, love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we really need to define your ambiguity. Do you know what I mean? Well, you know, my, my birth name isn't Izzy. It's not? What is it? It's Isis. That's Very exotic. Like. You know, and there's a whole, like, mythology story about me. Instead of going as Izzy Pappas, we switch back to my Greek name, which is Isis Papadopoulos. I, I imagine that America would really react and respond to you the name. You think? Like, they'll just love me and be like, oh, she's like the next Sofia Vergara. I think that, that would be the perfect execution of your career. I really do.